three and zero. As Eric said at the end of the broadcast, there they haven't done that since 2001. And of course, remember. 2001, they ended their season in the Sugar Bowl. Yes. Let's show you the highlights from what happened as Illinois took on 18th ranked Arizona State. The Fighting Illini were pumped up to face the stud, tall, six foot eight quarterback named Bross, Brock Osweiler, who was efficient in a primetime game last week on Friday evening. First possession for the Illini. They look great. Quarterback Nathan Shieldhouse, QB draw, bumps across the pile to the left side. That's a 15 yard pickoff. Same drive few plays later. It's a third and goal. Jason Ford, this guy just pushes and pushes. He never stops at the first contact. Illini leads seven to nothing. Sun Devils come right back. Brock Osweiler in the pocket. Looks for Gerald Robinson. And he had a chance to go over the middle and was very effective all day long. That's only the second touchdown Illinois has given up this entire season. Still in the first quarter, play action. Shieldhouse rolling out. A.J. Jenkins, giggity. Inside the five, but it's important to note they did not score a touchdown despite a first and goal. Had to settle for a field goal. They lead 10-7. Osweiler trying to answer. Jonathan Brown. We're going to get an awful lot of conversation on Jonathan Brown today. Glenn Foster ends up getting the pick, and the orange and blue lead 10-7 at the break. Third quarter was boring, so the fourth quarter we go. Osweiler, 14 yards straight up the middle, and ASU leads for the first time of the game, 14 to 10. Under 12 minutes to play. Still 14 10. Osweiler again in trouble. More pressure on him. Again, he gets picked on by getting picked off. Whitney Merciless forces the fumble, which is basically an interception. Ian Thomas grabbed it. Ensuing Illini possession, they found their offense. Shieldhouse to guess who? Jenkins. Nice little dump off. He turns on the speed, finds the corner, and then the end zone. Illini lead. But the game is not over. They need Vic Koning and the rest of the Illini defense to stand tall. On a fourth down and 10, Osweiler again faces pressure, throws over the middle. This time it's incomplete, and the ILL win it. Final score, 17 to 14. Not the most impressive of games in terms of statistics. Shieldhouse, 11 of 15 passing, 135 yards. Jenkins does stand out statistically, though, 103 yards thanks to six grabs and a touchdown. But it is a big victory for the Illini and for their head coach, Ron Zook, who just a few moments ago chatted with our Dion Miller. Well, Coach, you knew it was going to be a very tight game. What was ultimately the difference down the stretch? Well, I think our guys, you know, they hung in there, and, and at halftime they realized, hey, we can play. And, uh, I thought they raised up in the second half. They played well. The offense did the things they had to do when they had to do it. Defense just, they played unbelievable. Had a great game. That's a good offense. And uh, I'm just really, really proud of our guys. What did you see from Jonathan Brown tonight? He seemed to keep the pressure on. Well, Jonathan's a guy who plays way ahead of his years. He, he's he's going to be a great player. As long as he keeps doing the things that he's coached to do, he's got it. He had a great game. Uh, great game tonight. He did a great job. Really good. Heading into that last touchdown drive, you sent out your true freshman, Riley O'Toole, and Nathan then sat out. Is he okay? Is everything all right? Well, he's got a sore shoulder, and, uh, and we felt like with, with Riley, he can, he, you know, he, he's pretty accurate throwing the football. Gave us a little bit. Of course, he got the, we come back in, and, and then with a sore shoulder, we ran Nathan, but still, it worked out well, and I think gives a little spark there and did all right. First 3 0 start since 2001. What does a win like this say about your team? Well, you know, once again, I think this football team knows we've got a chance to be pretty good. Still got a long way to go. Got a big game next week, and, uh, and we get into the Big Ten. All right, coach, thanks so much. Sure.